I'm Bob with Hammond Valve, and today we're going to talk about gate valves. Gate valves have been around for many years. In fact, the Dutch used them to control flow in their canals dating back to around 1200. Modern gate valve has been around and been in use since the mid-19th century. The basic design of the gate valve is what we call a wedge. The wedge simply goes inside the valve and either raises and lowers to open or shut off the flow of the media through the valve. Some of the valves that you see here are manufactured in bronze, both with a threaded bonnet and a union bonnet in rising stem designs. What this means is as the valve hand wheel is turned, the hand wheel rises. This gives a good indication of the valve position. Valves like this low lead bronze valve has a non-rising stem design, so if the valve hand wheel is turned, it remains stationary. Gate valves are the ideal solution in a pipeline where we don't want water hammer. By water hammer, what we mean is the equalization of pressure across the valve. In a typical quarter turn valve, you have upstream pressure and the valve is opened quickly. That allows a large amount of pressure to go downstream of the valve. In a gate valve, we're opening the valve very slowly with the turn of the hand wheel. This raises the gate out of the flow path. And another feature of the gate valve is its wide open bore. This allows full flow, high flow coefficients through the valve. It's an ideal valve for clean liquid and gas service. The gate valve being metal to metal seated, as in this bronze valve, does allow for a certain amount of leakage. The Manufacturer Standardization Society has limitations on the appropriate and acceptable leakage through a valve. Typically, 10 milliliters per hour per one inch of valve diameter. The gate valve is typically installed in a vertical position. This allows the wedge to travel down to the seat rings and shut the valve off. If the valve is installed on its side, either in a horizontal pipeline or in a vertical pipeline, there is added friction to get the wedge into place. Sometimes in low pressure applications, this can be problematic. Due to the design of the wedge and the attachment of the stem, the gate valve is not a good choice for throttling applications. If the valve is partially open, it allows the wedge to flutter. This leads to premature seat wear on the wedge and premature wearing internally of the valve. Therefore, a gate valve is best used fully open and fully closed. So as you can see, we manufacture a wide variety of gate valves for many different applications. In the bronze alloys, with pressure classes up to 300, we manufacture low lead valves for potable water applications, brass valves for plumbing applications, and sweat ends, aluminum body valves for tank and trailer applications, cast iron valves for commercial HVAC applications, cast steel for industrial, higher pressure, higher temperature applications. The valve that you see in the front here is a gate valve. However, it's a quick opening gate valve. Same design internally with the wedge and the metal seats. However, this valve can be operated by a simple turn of the lever. The application for this, an example would be blowdown application or an application where you need to operate the valve quickly. For example, a drain. Again, I'm Bob Rudman with Hammond Valve, and that's gate valves.